welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be doing a bit of a remelt. Um, it's going to be a slag remelt, an aluminum remelt, and a horrible ingot that I don't know what it's made of remelt. So what I've got here, I have a few things. One, a failed ring mold casting. I've been experimenting around and yeah, this thing didn't work. It took forever to cut the outside of it out and uh, the inside looks like it's pretty much stuck permanent. Uh, as for the rest of this, I have little bits and pieces of a horrible ingot I once cast. Uh, it was actually a recast of an ingot, really. But uh, I have a couple of pieces like that. Not very much of it, because I don't want to uh, recreate that disaster. A little bit of aluminum. A little bit of aluminum slag. And a tiny bit of bronze. As well as little piece to a transmission bell housing. With all that in there, I'm also going to be adding an aluminum ingot that I cast, the one that you might remember from the aluminum thermite video. Anyway, I will be casting all of that today, and uh, yeah, I mean, I guess with that, I don't really have much more else to say, so let's get on it.
Okay, so for this aluminum melt, what went good, what went bad, what went weird? So, um, for this one, as, as I told you guys earlier, I included some copper and bronze or whatever that thing is. Um, I included some of that in here, and I don't know how it might have affected it, but it certainly did change how it looks. Um, for instance, I think there's a little bit of iridescence right in there. I don't know if you guys can tell on the camera, but it's right there. Alright, so now for what went wrong. So as you can see, there is a sizable bubble right there, which I don't like. And also there are a bunch of little air pockets right in there, so that's not particularly good. That shows that there was still some outgassing at the bottom of the ingot mold, which means that there was something in there, which is rather unacceptable. However, uh, you know, things happen, so... Uh, I preheated as much as I could, and I noticed, I don't know if you guys noticed, but it was smoking. So I was a little bit worried that something like that might happen, but, you know, hey, what can you do, right? Now, what I found interesting is I tried something a little bit new. I tried sort of tapping the outside of the ingot mold, as you guys might have heard. You didn't see, unfortunately. I messed up my camera angle, but you know, I was tapping the side of the ingot mold. And this was in an effort to keep the top of the ingot flat, which I'd say that worked. I don't know how that might have affected the bubbles, though. That might have made a few of them rise up into the middle of the ingot, which obviously would not be good. So, a um, little bit worried about that, but um, I'm not actually entirely sure what I'm going to do with this thing. So, we'll see if that affects the functionality of it at all. Um, I might make rings out of it, actually. I'm thinking I might try and do that. In fact, you know what? I think I'm going to start on that today. But until then, I'll tell you what else went good with it. Um, you know, the really square shape of it is a real good thing. Also, I noticed these corners, they are just so perfect. I'm going to have to start tapping the sides more, because, I mean... Just, this, these are the cleanest corners I have ever cast in my life. So this thing is absolutely beautiful, and I love it. Problem is, it's just got that one big old bubble in it, so... That part isn't good. I might just cut that off and remelt it some other time with some other aluminum. Just absolutely dilute the thing, as I tried to do with my other ingot uh, that, obviously... Uh, you know, because it shattered in little pieces like this, even in the recast, uh, didn't work the first time, so. One quick thing before I end the video, though. Ah, uh, not to worry, ladies and gents, at least it isn't. Oh, no. And so continues the thrilling saga known as me trying to figure out why all my ingots are turning out to be magnetic. Meanwhile, I figured I'd show you all what the end result of that broken up ingot is, and this is about what it looks like. Pretty cool, isn't it? I'm going to be diluting this as well in a later video. But for now, I'm satisfied with what I've got here. Um, yeah, it's time to get working on it, so until next time, hope you all enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a wonderful day.